Day 187 of the war in Gaza, and while most Israeli troops have been withdrawn from the enclave, the IDF is continuing heavy military pressure. Tanks are patrolling along the border, and airstrikes are being called in whenever and wherever Hamas operatives emerge. This, as Prime Minister Netanyahu says yet again, that a Rafah operation is circled in the calendar. More from ILTV's Steve Leibovitz. Israeli forces have stepped up bombardments on Deir el-Balakh in central Gaza, as well as Rafa, two areas the IDF has yet to enter in ground operations. The targeting of Hamas is ongoing, with tanks deployed along the border amid frequent airstrikes when called in as Hamas operatives emerge. Speaking to new IDF recruits, Prime Minister Netanyahu stated once again that the IDF will eliminate remaining Hamas brigades, regardless of what the rest of the world says. Netanyahu made the statement a day after saying that a date has been set for an Israeli operation in Rafah without disclosing the date. Meanwhile, Israel is facilitating the ever-increasing amount of international aid entering Gaza in record amounts. 468 humanitarian aid trucks were inspected and transferred to Gaza. This was the highest number of aid trucks that entered Gaza in one day since the start of the war. Despite Israeli efforts, aid organizations say that trucks are coming in, but distribution remains a major problem. And when you put up statistics with numbers of trucks going in, saying, look at all these hundreds of trucks going in, and you put it against, look how few trucks have actually moved around with, the dis- with distribution. <laughs> well, it's kind of an own goal, isn't it? Because half of the convoys that we were trying to send to the north with food were denied by the very same Israeli authority. And looking back to October 17th, when an explosion took place in the parking lot of Al-Akhli Hospital, resulting in hundreds of casualties. Israel was widely blamed, even though evidence proved damages were caused by a misfired terrorist rocket. An Islamic Jihad member has now admitted how they and Hamas manipulate the media to turn their lies into international headlines. The lies of the terrorists believed by much of the world.